Hello folks. This is a continuation of the last video where I introduced to you the concept of equilibrium, <clears throat> that place where supply equals demand. And I talked about a little bit about it referring to where the magic happens in a market. And, and you may have looked at the last video and said, well, um, Mr. P, there wasn't actually a lot magical about that. And I'm hoping to introduce you to a little bit of of market magic in today's video. Today we're focusing on simultaneous shifts in supply and demand. And so I've put up a combined supply and demand schedule here where we're talking about price of chocolate bars and the quantity demanded of chocolate bars and also the quantity supplied of chocolate bars. And uh, this is the graph of the supply schedule. We see the intersection of supply and demand here. Uh, an initial equilibrium price of 2 and a market quantity of 8. So what happens when both supply and demand shift simultaneously? Now we typically uh, don't do that um, because we always make a kept par assumption and when we make the kept par assumption, we're only looking at usually a, a change in demand or supply when we're analyzing markets. But there are occasions that questions on both the AP and the IB will, will ask you about a simultaneous shift in supply and demand. And so we're, we're going to, to see what one looks like here. So in this case, we've got an increase in demand, shifting demand from D to D1. At the same time, we've got a situation where supply also increases from S to S1, and we see we've got a, a new market equilibrium here at e, EQ1. It looks like a, a market price of about a uh, buck eighty, and uh, a market quantity of, of let's say just fifteen. So in this case, both supply and demand have shifted because of whatever factors that might have been given in a question. And uh, we've seen that, the, in this case, the quantity demanded, or the quantity of the market, market quantity increased from 8, which it was initially, to, to about 15. And the price, at least in this case, it fell a little bit from 2 to uh, about, you know, a, a buck 80. When you have simultaneous shifts of supply and demand, and both supply and demand increase, though, Quantity will always increase, but the price is, is indeterminate, and I'll show you why. Had I shifted my supply curve here where this dotted line is located, my market price would have fallen at 2, which is exactly the same place where my initial equilibrium was. But had I shifted it a little even less further than that, then you'll see that I'm actually my, my market quantity or my market price increased from compared to the initial market price. So when I have simultaneous shifts in supply and demand and both of them increase, quantity demanded will always increase. Price will be indeterminate. Let's take a look at another case. We're going to start off here with a, with a new equilibrium. I've also made my supply schedule go away. Today, let's look at a, a situation where Demand has fallen, but supply has increased. And you see I've, I've made both of those curves move, and we have then a movement in market equilibrium from EQ down here to EQ1, and it looks like the price has fallen dramatically, and the quantity demanded, or the quantity has increased a little bit. Well, what we'll see in this particular case when demand decreases uh, decreases and supply de uh, increases, market price will always fall, but it will be the market quantity that's indeterminate, and here's why. Had I shifted my supply curve that far instead of where I shifted it, you'll see that the market quantity would have rested exactly where it had started here at 12. But had I shifted my supply curve only a little bit, then my uh, market quantity actually would have fallen instead of increased. So here's a quick graph here, it's almost like a cheat sheet of the results of simultaneous shifts in supply and demand. You'll probably want to commit this one to memory. Folks, hope that made sense. I shall see you soon.